Hello, I am Sally Glenn of Saved by Grace Ministries. I have a different message for you this time, a little different, and I'm calling it my prophetic update. We're going to have a good time looking at some of the things that are going on. We find ourselves in that window of time, those 48 hours in which Donald Trump is assessing the situation and choosing what to do about Syria. These days, prophecy is being fulfilled before our very eyes. In fact, moment by moment. The current situation in Syria is in fact prophetic fulfillment. The current national and international situations have never looked like this before. Nations are now aligned as they are named in Ezekiel 38. The nation of Israel was born in a day, May 14, 1948. And we have seen Jerusalem come into the hands of the Jews with the 1967 war. We now await the occurrence of yet more of these prophetic events. As I said before, we've not seen things line up like they are aligned together today. Syria is most definitely the hot spot with Russia and Iran aligned together with the Assad regime. The U.S. and Israel and oddly Saudi Arabia form a strange alliance supporting the Sunni rebels against the Shiite Muslim forces of Assad. Does this not sound like the Ezekiel 38 war? Now, it's debatable whether the Ezekiel 38 war takes place before or after the Psalm 83 war. The Psalm 83 war involves an alliance of Arab Muslim nations against Israel. Furthermore, Turkey is also playing a part. Turkey is trying to establish a caliphate against Israel. Also, we are seeing Zechariah 12, Isaiah 17, and Jeremiah 49 take place before our very eyes. Jerusalem has become a burdensome stone, and Damascus is already in ruins, but soon it will be decimated. Zechariah 12 addresses Jerusalem as the burdensome stone. Isaiah 17 and Jeremiah 49 speak of Damascus, Syria, becoming a heap of ruins. Watch closely now as you see these things taking place. May 14th of this year will be the 70th anniversary of Israel becoming a nation, and that is a key day to watch. So, watch and pray. Matthew 24 and 25 
uh, both exhort us to do so, to watch and to pray. Luke 21, 28 says, when these things begin to happen, look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. Luke 21, 28. It says, when these things begin to happen, these things have already begun to happen. Therefore, the Lord's coming for the church must surely be soon. In fact, I believe he's standing at the door. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for sending Jesus. Lord Jesus, I thank you for taking on my sin, for dying in my place. Lord, I trust you as Savior, as Lord of my life. Lord, I pray that you would have your way, that your will be done. I trust you with all of these end time prophetic events taking place. I trust you, Lord, and I say to you, come quickly, come quickly, Lord Jesus. It's in your name I pray. Amen. Please share and like us on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel.